Hey YouTube, this is Robonauts1 here, and I'm here to do a review for Flash, episode 1. Uh, this episode was good. Um, I did really like this episode. Um, however, I couldn't help feeling... I couldn't help feeling maybe slightly disappointed with it as well. The actor playing um, Barry Allen is really, really good. Um, he is a very strong actor. I mean, I mean, when he appeared in Arrow season two, um, for those two episodes, I thought he was really, really good. And, and considering that he'd come out of, you know, out of glee, of all places, like, like that act, like this actor came out of glee, um, a show that is all, um, singing and dancing, he was essentially a surprise hit, and um, and I thought in in this episode he was just really really good. I think I'm definitely gonna like um, this character, and um, honestly, I think I'm gonna f find um, the whole Flash universe a very interesting world to sort of visit and journey into. Flash is evidently very different from Arrow and the reason why I was slightly disappointed with um, this episode was because how Arrow began really really impressed me and I still hold um, Arrow season one and Arrow season two as the best television I've watched since Heroes Season 1. Going into this episode, I couldn't help feel that, that it it didn't quite hold that magic that Arrow that Arrow's first episode had. But I also really liked how different this world is. And it's the opposite of um, of Arrow's world. Um, in Arrow, Arrow is essentially the CW's version of Gotham City, um, with Arrow obviously being being sort of like the characterization of of Batman. And what I really really like is Flash is the exact opposite of that character. Barry Allen is the more lighter version. He's more of the Superman of this universe. It's going to be great seeing these two episodes every week. You know, and sort of have these two, like, two, um, two shows that are within the same universe, but also have that difference within them as well. I didn't like the conversation between Arrow and Flash. Um, there's a scene between them during like the midway point through the episode, and I just thought it was really, really dis. Like, I thought the conversation seemed very, very weird to me. Um. I didn't really enjoy that that conversation. Um, I think mainly because um, it was a writing issue. Um, how they talked felt too quick, and it didn't feel natural. And the whole um, them saying cool was really really weird um and i just 
that scene just didn't really gel with me very well. Other than that, I'm really interested in the show. Um, again, maybe not the strongest of shows, but I definitely think, unlike, um, unlike Gotham's um, first episode, and um, I think, um, I think The Flash has built up its world. Um, it's not trying to force things down our throats, and um, but it's allowing it set up what it's supposed to be. And I'm now looking forward to actually seeing the story unfold. Cause um, cause already we're getting stuff from um, you know, we're getting references from the actual comics. Like we got a reference from Flashpoint and Flash Rebirth. Um, we got a reference to one of the Crisis, you know, and that stuff just really interested me. Um, we 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 also get a couple of references to Reverse Flash, so all of this stuff is really really fascinating, and I'm really looking forward to seeing these stories unfold in the future. If you're not watching this show, do watch it. And um, I don't even think in this show you particularly need to have seen Arrow. Um, obviously Arrow appears, but I don't think you necessarily need um, to know what happened with Arrow. Um, except from that one scene. Um, it's you know, it's mostly a straightforward show, um, you know, and, and it's quite clear cut. And yeah, I, um, I enjoyed it apart from a, a few little bits that I didn't enjoy, but other than that, yeah, great, great, um, first episode. So, um, I'm Robin That's One here, and I shall see you all later for another Flash review. Bye.